guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another tutorial. All right, so this is a video on how to set up uh, Home Assistant alerts or notifications uh, for Cody. Sometimes in home automation, you do stuff just because you can. Uh, there's probably not any real reason why you need to get alerts inside the Cody app. But if you wanted to, this will show you how to do that. All right, so uh, there's basically three parts to this video. Uh, one is just going to be uh, one is going to be adding the notify component. Uh, the second part will be setting up a test script so that we can uh, kind of test out that notify component. And of course, lastly, we will see what that looks like uh, in action. So let's get started. All right, so the main prerequisite that you really need to have for Cody will be that you need to have the web server uh, enabled in the uh, services under uh, the Cody settings. This will obviously vary uh, depending on what version of Cody you're running and what skin you have installed on there. But um, just to kind of give you an idea, uh, if you go into system settings and then go to services, you should see a section, something like a control, at least that's what's displayed on mine. And uh, you wanna make sure allow remote control via HTTP is enabled. So make sure that box is checked. Make sure you keep track of what port it is. I think by default, Home Assistant will use port uh, 8080. And that is also the default port for uh, Kodi. So unless that's changed or you're using something else, you shouldn't have to mess with that. And then also, if you require a username and password uh, for that, you'll need to know those as well for the Notify component. All right, so uh, we're going to edit our notify.yaml file. And I'll put all this stuff in the description so that you can copy and paste it. Gonna add a section down here at the bottom. Uh, we'll just call it Cody. Uh, the platform for this, of course, is Cody. Uh, name, I'm just gonna say Cody underscore bedroom, because that's where I'm gonna be running it off of is my uh, uh, fire stick in my bedroom. The host is the IP address of my Amazon Fire Stick. So whatever device is running Kodi, that's the IP address that you'll need to know. Once you have all that, you can uh, go ahead and uh, escape out and save that. And now let's uh, create our test script that we're gonna use to test this notification. So I'll edit my test.yaml uh, file that I have under all my scripts. Kind of scroll down here to the bottom, find this uh, area underneath all the other ones. I'm just gonna call this uh, Cody underscore test underscore notify. You can certainly call it whatever you want. Uh, the alias, uh, we'll just say Cody alert dash test. The service will be notify dot Cody underscore bedroom because that's the notification component we set up. You can give it a title if you want. Uh, I'm just gonna say Home Assistant. Uh, message, we'll say this is a test message.
The icon, you can just use one of the existing Kodi icons. I think there's like four different choices. Or you can put in a URL and it will actually put that image in there. So that's what we're going to do here. This is uh, the same URL I kind of use for everything, uh, for testing. So I'm just going to stick that in there so we can see what that looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and restart Home Assistant for these changes to take effect. Give that a second to come back up. All right, let's go ahead and see that in action. All right, so we are going to uh, hit the uh, test script here. And we should see it pop up on the video below. And there it is, as you can see, uh, pretty quick. Push the button, it pops up. And you can even see in the uh, notification there, that's a little image that I always uh, put in all my test uh, videos. And that's the end of this tutorial. Let's do a quick recap. We added the notify component. And then we, of course, built out our test script that we used to test that notify component. Lastly, of course, we saw it in action to see what that looks like. All right, guys. Uh, hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions, certainly hit me up in the comments below. And if there are any other videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know and I'll see if I can get something put together for you guys. Thanks a lot.